Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, taking a little detour with this video and working on the Gladiator some. Um, kind of wanted to go over a few little things that have popped up recently. Uh, so I'm going to start right here. Uh, this is a Rubicon model and I've actually already taken off the um, rock slider that goes back here. But the reason I'm doing this is if you look at the bracket for the slider, you can see I've got some rust starting to show as the paint is just flaked off the bracket. Um, nothing's ever scraped it or anything. It's just the high quality paint that we get from Jeep, Mopar, Stellantis, whoever you want to call it. Um, so I took those off so I can do some work there and get that cleaned up. I mean, I have a few little rust spots starting to show on the frame. I'm not going to worry about those now. Those might be a next year cleanup. And then along with that, what I did is I pulled these sliders back off because uh, most of the holes for the sliders I had to open up and I put some just body touch up paint in there. But since I now I'm going to have PR 15 out to clean up this bracket, I wanted to put it in those holes just because it's going to be a lot better than just the uh, body touch up paint. Uh, that and a couple of the holes on the other side were a little tight to get it in, so I'm going to open those up some more. So um, that is what I'm planning on working on now. So I'm going to go ahead and you know drill out those holes that I needed to do, clean up the things that I'm going to paint, and then go ahead and get some paint put down. All right, so here we are on the passenger side, and this is where I had to drill the holes out a little bit bigger. So I went ahead and did that. Um, I've wiped everything down with the POR or the uh, Blake brake cleaner and a rag. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, POR 15 shaken up and uh, start applying that to these uh, eight holes on this side and the eight holes on the driver's, driver's side. All right, and here we are. Uh, the holes have all been covered with POR 15. Um, there were a couple spots where I saw that it was kind of scratched a little bit from the uh, brackets on the back. So you can see I kind of went over and filled in you know, where, where I would have seen scratches or whatnot. So there's the passenger side. And then same thing here on the driver's side. All the holes covered up to keep them from rusting in the future. Not worried about any runs or anything like that because these are all going to be covered by the rails when the rails are put back on. All right, and then here is the POR15 on the brackets in the back. Um, I taped off the plastic so I wouldn't accidentally hit it. Um, wiped everything down with a rag and some brake clean, you know, made sure any of the flaking rust was off, and then just went ahead and uh, brushed it on. So this is the driver's side. And the passenger side so uh, hopefully you know it dries pretty nice you know one good thing about this stuff is it lays pretty flat but I mean these brackets were textured before so hopefully it'll look okay you can kind of see there the difference in height from where this one had rusted in the center you know flaked but um, yeah I'm not too worried about it and you know once the uh, sliders are on it kind of covers it up anyway it's not as noticeable so uh, yeah we'll see how this turns out after it dries all right, and here we are next day. Everything is dry, uh, stayed nice and glossy. Pretty happy with how the finish turned out. Uh, same thing, everything is filled in as it's supposed to be over here along the rail. You know, this is the passenger side, but it looks the same on the driver's side. So that part of the job is all done. Now on to uh, taking care of the rear rails where they have some rust as well as the side rails, I wanted to uh, do a couple of touch-up spots. So here we are looking at the driver's side uh, rear slider. And as you can see, basically wherever there's welds, the paint's flaking off and rusting. So being that the new cider, sli side sliders are gloss black and the brackets that I just you know painted for these are gloss black PR15, I think I'm just going to do these whole things in the PR15 gloss black and put them on that way. That way they'll match and it'll look better and hopefully it'll be rust proof. So I'm going to go ahead and get these things cleaned up, get them painted so I can get them installed. All right, so an hour or so later, here we are. Both of the rear sliders, they are painted and drying. Kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, pardon my French. PR15, I mean, it, the good thing about it is it does lay pretty flat. Uh, you can see it's actually picking up the texture of the factory finish that was underneath it. So hopefully it'll look pretty good when it's done. So yeah, just gotta let those dry. 
Um, but yeah, they'll match the sliders, which are over here. And with these, I went over, I noticed a little bit of rust on the, uh, the eight bolts on each side, and there was actually like a little bit running out from underneath. So I went around them and just uh, put some PR15 on the bottom of all of those bolts and just around the bottom of the, uh, the bracket that goes around and you can kind of see where the wet paint is in comparison to the dry if you look carefully. Um, and then, yeah, I, so that should uh, hopefully stop any more rust from forming. And I'll put anti-seize on those when I mount them the final time uh, on the threads and whatnot. So that should definitely keep anything from happening as far as corrosion. So, yeah, uh, hopefully this is going to be job done with the sliders front and rear. Uh, so what I'm going to do is let these dry overnight and then we'll see how things turn out in the morning. All right, so it's the next day. Uh, everything is now dry. Kind of just want to show you how things turned out. Uh, here is the one. Um, you can see there's a little bit of a run mark there. Not really thrilled about that. Um, I mean, the finish is all right. I do have an idea though about how I may kind of cover up that run mark, make it hide. But I was thinking what I can do is use some of that uh, texture tape like I used on the steps for the step areas right here. And I can use this to kind of cover the run up. Um, I mean, I know those aren't really steps on the back there, but it'll kind of match the side steps. And I think that would do a good job of hiding it. Um, here's the other one. And this one, you know, it doesn't look as bad as far as runs go, but I mean, still, it's you know, not the best finish, but like I said, put a little, you know, put some of that texture tape on it over here. It'll kind of cover a lot of the imperfections up and blend it in better. And again, you know, this thing's going to be dirty half the time. So you're not going to notice it anyway. So um, it's kind of where I'm at with those. And then, yeah, as far as the steps themselves go, I mean, all I did was touch up the bolt area. So those are ready to go. Um, downside is I was planning on putting these on today. Just had a major downpour come through, although it looks like the sun is out now. So Hopefully, maybe I can get out there and dry this thing off, although it is raining while sunny. Um, if the rain stops, I can get out there, dry it off, and get these things installed. I don't want to put them on while those bolt holes and everything are still wet. So we will see what the weather does, if I can get out there and finish this up today or not. All right, so we had a break in the rain. It dried out enough where I was able to get out here and you know dry off the rocker panels and the, the bolt holes and whatnot so I wouldn't be trapping too much water in here and I was able to get both of the rails installed. So here you can see it, and there's a few spots if you look, you can see where some POR15 is visible, where I went and touched up a couple of spots that had scratches, but all in all, not too bad. And I did go ahead and use um, anti-seize in every bolt this time, you know, being that I'm noticing more and more corrosion issues with this vehicle, don't want to have snapped uh, fasteners in the future. So anti-seize on everything, and then the smaller uh, studs on the uh, side steps as well as the four bolts that go into the bottom of the body did those to the you know, internationally accepted German torque spe spec of Gutentite and then the three body bolts were done to 85 foot pounds so here's the driver side and then come around to the passenger side so same thing there's a few spots if you look carefully you can see a little bit of the black POR15 on the rocker right above where the uh, rails slash steps are, but it's not too bad and I'm good with it. So uh, next step, if the rain holds off, we'll be getting the rear ones installed, but it does feel like it's starting to drizzle again, so we'll see. All right, and here's the passenger side, uh, rear slider in. Just kind of wanted to show you the bolts that you need to do. There's the three here, one, two, three. And then there's two that are tucked up here, right here and right here. Those are what hold this thing in. And those are the five that you need to remove on each side in order to get the rear slider away from the slider bracket. All right, so here it is. You know, like I said, being that the sliders are gloss, these actually don't look bad now in gloss versus the uh, matte finish that they were. Um, like I said, the only thing that I'm concerned about is the finish doesn't look the best. You know, the way the POR15 lays, you know, it's not the you know, perfect looking paint. So. What I am thinking I'm going to do, as I said, is go ahead and get the uh, same grip tape that I have on the side steps and put it on these, and that should kind of cover up some of these run marks and imperfections. Probably look a little bit better when all is said and done. But, you know, like I said, you know, being that it's glossy up there, 
actually flows pretty good and you know being through script tape up on the uh, side steps should look okay on these as well all right and here we are final results i went ahead and put some of that grip tape on the back so you can see how everything flows i think it looks really good i'm pretty happy with the results uh that definitely covers up some of the imperfections in the paint i mean you can still see some but again this is probably going to be dirty most of the time so that will help uh cover things up and it won't be as noticeable but yeah i'm uh, i'm pretty impressed uh, i think it looks pretty good all things together or all things considered everything flows pretty nicely and uh yeah i'll call that job done so uh one more thing off the list with the gladiator um so yeah if you, you're interested in you know seeing more stuff done with this car there will be more along the lines as well as my cobra and the mr2 when it comes back from the body shop uh, if you like what you see please like please subscribe please hit the notification bell as there's always going to be content coming on my channel thank you for watching and have a great day